What is up traders and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be talking about Rick Getty stock, which has been one of the most amazing quantum computing names in the market. Now, the main question is, is the stock a buy right now? And if so, what are the levels that I can buy the stock now? So whether you're a swing trader or a day trader, you definitely don't want to miss out. First of all, let's start off with the hourly chart here on the stock. If you guys saw my last video, I was pretty bullish on the company, but I stated that right now was not the best time to buy the stock. It was around the highs here, around these levels. And like I said, the RSI has been pretty uh, volatile over the past couple of sessions. We've been seeing a lot of volatility with Trump tariffs. Last Friday, we saw a market sell-off where the overall NASDAQ dropped pretty much two percentage points, which was intense here, especially um, towards the downside. But I am firmly bullish still on the company. I do believe that the stock will be finding some more support, especially now that it bounced here at this important anchored view while from the prior high, which was an area of resistance. We found support exactly there uh, today in the morning, Wednesday at around 9.30 on the open. We, you know, dipped down below. We found the buyers, the lower candle wig right here that we can see on the chart right here. And then the intense upset for the rest of the day where, the, you know, the stock closed and we saw just, you know, very intense upside with it being up around 9% today on the day. Now, something very important to acknowledge here is that the stock has been overextended right but now if we look here for example at the rsi we are pulling back and this is where we are seeing that there is some buyer emergence right the last time we found support here last time we dipped and we you know found support was the exact level here on the rsi around 48 here which shows us that there's just been such a strong momentum that the buyers are not allowing the prices to go down further any little sell-off that we have in the stock and the buyers come in and emerge and just bid up the stock very aggressively. We saw here on this day here, the 13th of October, which was Monday. Now, same thing here. We got overextended the RSI right at this point 70. We did, but down below. And as soon as we got to a level near 50 to 40, that's where we found the buyers. Now, something very important to acknowledge here is that I do see the price target or the stock reaching the levels of $62.20. That's going to be my first profit target area where I believe that the stock is going to be finding some overall resistance. And we're not too far away. We're actually 10% uh, away from that level. Uh, but I do believe that, you know, we will see that level being reached. And that is where I believe that, you know, solid will start to emerge and we will see a little uh, slowdown, which will allow the price action to slowly, you know, like to, you know, like these, uh, Anchored view walks to slowly catch up to the price. And uh, this is where, for example, we can find that support. So during these areas, that's where we'll be finding the following like this. The dips and the formation of the higher high. And that would be, again, another long position here with the stop uh, guaranteed at this low, which would be there. I'll put that as, let's say, an orange. And this would be the upside momentum as it would have gone above a key area of um, overall resistance, especially, you know, here that, you know, crosses above here. Like I said, around this area, that is where we want to be uh, long because it shows that, that there was now buyers overwhelming those sellers. That would be our stop loss there. Now, my second price target on the stock would be towards the levels of $100 flat. That is obviously um, a lot of upside and you know there's been a lot of fear of the overvaluation, especially now with the AI bubble mention that's been happening over the past couple weeks. There's been a lot of, you know, uncertainty from investors, but that is obviously a 80% upside move. I do believe that the stock has the room to go up to that level, but obviously not um, in a very, you know, fast pace. It will obviously take some time and steady movement, just like let's say pounds here uh, that, you know, that can reach that level. Obviously, um, we know there's been a lot of demand for AI, especially with ASML latest earnings report and as well with TSM. So just seeing this continued momentum in AI and, you know, open AI spending billions of dollars with all these deals with AMD and NVIDIA. Right. So there's a lot of upside here, especially. So now the other case would be that, you know, let's say that this has not happened. Right. So if we delete this, let's say, for example, and we do not see any type of pullback. And we actually see the pullback being even deeper then i believe that the stock can find support at this level here lower of 45 dollars and 30 cents would be in prior area now of uh, resistance being support and the next level would be towards 40 dollars and 88 cents around this general zone now you may be asking yourself well why do you see these levels well 
simply because they were prior areas of resistance. And now they're being areas of support where we have a lot of interest, right? A lot of buyers. So I will label this as, you know, green and like some greenish here. Because as we can see here, look at the price action. We just zoom in here. We see the following, these wicks like this occasion that we had on the 7th of October, as well as this lower wick here that we had on the 9th of October at around 7.30 in the morning. These wicks, like even around the zone here too, you know, all this, you know, wicky action that we've been seeing shows that there are a lot of buyers interested, especially even here. And, you know, when we dip down below, you, you know, we saw a nice movement dip down here. We couldn't even get close to this price around this zone because the buyers were so intense that they bought the stock so aggressively. We see, we even seen in the volume, right, which is what happened the next day, right? And that's what prompted us to go even higher. So like I said, you know, Rigetti is still bullish to me. Uh, the company has been seeing though um, declining volume here on the uh, price action, but I still think that we have, you know, room to go towards my first level of resistance towards uh, $62.20 and the last level being $100 flat, a very key important psychological level. And there you have it. With AI being the leader in the current bull market, is quantum computing the next edge? Only time will tell. If you guys enjoyed this video and like this analysis of Rigetti, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and as always, don't let the markets whip you guys out. I'll see you guys on the next one.